Hello there everyone, it's Shiny Sparky, and welcome back to more Final Fantasy II Anniversary Edition. So last time, we began the Soul of Rebirth. That is right, that bonus dungeon, you know, the rather annoying one. Again, good story-wise, but very annoying in gameplay. Very annoying. So, here we encounter some fairly tough enemies in terms of offense. Very tough. So, there are two Miss Vamps and one Glastiel Labolas. So, the Miss Vamps don't have a lot of HP, but boy do they, do they really, do they hit hard, they really do. The Glacia also hits freaking hard, I mean come on, it's a, it's a damn, um, what do you call it, um, oh man, Gigas, that's right, Gigas, it's a Gigas, and all Gigas hit freaking hard, seriously. 996 health, yes that is right, but guess what's gonna happen very soon, I'm pretty sure you know what's gonna happen very soon. I tried to escape because that was my only chance. If I revived, that was not going to work. Who cares? They're going to kill him. But, there we go. That was the first death I got on this part. That, that's what I'm saying. It's it's crazy. It's, um... Yeah, so basically I just cut out until I reached that part again. But I just showed you the game over because I'm pretty sure a lot of you who have played this or are playing along with this or whatever, I'm pretty sure you've experienced this garbage. Seriously. I just hate how to completely get through it, it's completely luck based, that's the part that freaking kills it. Like, you can't do a, an entire quest, an entire post-game quest, that is basically that. Like, come on, you can't. So here, oh my god, I got hit a ton, but uh, did I even do this or... Oh, it missed, it missed, that's just great. It missed. Yeah, um... What you will see, though, later on, once I get to the next part of the Soul of Rebirth, is that you actually want to use Blink with Minwoo. Blink is your best friend, you will see why. Blink is extremely important when you're doing the Soul of Rebirth, a lot more important than Protect, for various reasons, but you'll see why. I don't want to spoil stuff, you know? But this is another freaking hard battle, because these knights, what are they called again? The, oh, Death Knights. These knights are insane. They are insanely difficult. But uh, I, I, I believe I got pretty lucky. If they use their bow attack, you basically lucked out for that turn. Because bow is an extremely weak attack. And I don't know why they use it. They should just be using normal attacks every single turn. They really should. But apparently they don't feel like it, so it's fine. It is completely okay. Yeah, so see, Joe... Oh, Joseph, not Joe, what the hell. Joe Seth was revived. And, yeah, then the cure here, I mean, it, it's hard to keep... It, it really is hard to keep them alive, it really is. So I think in this battle something funny ends up happening. Yeah. This freaking knight here decides to be an a-hole. And he basically keeps attacking the one I revive right away. So, like, right there. Okay, watch this. I'm, I'm gonna do a life on Joseph. I attack, he kills him. So I revive the other one, of course, because, you know, I feel like that's... Oh my god. It was funny though. It was really funny. I was actually laughing kind of hard while I was doing this. And I just keep alternating because that's the only strategy. If I run, it's not going to work because in this game, running away has like a 1% chance of being of successful. And um, if I if I cured, that wasn't going to work because he was attacking first. So I was going to waste a cure. But luckily for me, he used bow. He used the bow move. And this bow move means that it is unable to kill because it's too weak again because they're freaking dumb if you have an attack that can do you know multi hunter damage why would you use a random bow attack that does less than 100 damage i don't understand it oh well though i mean easier for me really that simple Yep, so there we go. See, Joseph is freaking hard, but the problem is that he's not as tanky as Scott. So Scott is a better tank, but Joseph is your glass cannon, let's just say that. Also, to be fair, Joseph has freaking pathetic armor, a lot more pathetic than Scott. So that, of course, makes matters worse. But anyways, all done with that battle, finally. I have to do a cure, of course. Or multiple cures, I should say. See, 295 HP by, by Minwoo, that is... No, I'm sorry, but that is really bad. That is terrible. Yeah, um... 
If you think this part is hard, just wait until how much you have to freaking grind to get through the second section of Solar Rebirth. But luckily for you, luckily for all of you, I'm going to be cutting out most of that grinding. Really, because it's really tedious. And you will easily be grinding for at least an hour and a half. At least. Preferably about two hours of grinding will be safe enough to get you through the next location of the, of the Solar Rebirth, which is the... Well, it's called the Unknown Palace at first, and later on it gets another name, but I'm not going to spoil it, of course, because I don't want to. So anyways, the real door get, to get through here is... Well, not that. That's an Oratome. But the real one is actually on the bottom left corner, right down here, this one. Once you go through it, you go through the stairs, and then you get taken to the B5, Unknown Cave B5. So, obviously save. Keep saving, because it's very important, very vital. And now, what you are going to want to do is simply follow this very linear path. This floor is actually really simple in terms of, you know, like how complex it is. No, it's really simple. Here you will see a worm. Simply go up to it and talk to the worm. Yes, talk to the worm despite it not being able to understand you, most likely. And then Ricardo will come along and he'll be like, yeah, you know, this fiend followed me. That's, I think, what they were going for is that that worm is the same exact one from the Leviathan. Because, you know, Ricardo was basically involved with that Leviathan, you know, killing it, kind of, once we joined it. We were able to escape, so it died, and it came here, and then Ricardo died, so he's here, and that's why you're saying that followed me. Even though, technically, Ricard followed the round worm, because the round worm died first, and then Ricard, and he's saying that this beam followed me. I don't know. It's weird. But yeah, it's a really simple battle, especially once you have Ricard. So once you get Ricard, if you did actually equip him properly, whether it was the Blood Sword with great armor or another good spear, because he uses spears as his weapons, whatever you gave him. If you gave him good stuff, it becomes a lot easier for this part of the Soul of Rebirth. This dungeon will be a lot simpler. However, this does not mean that the later parts are going to be easy, because oh, they are not. They are not easy. So these people are basically talking about, you know, what's been going on here. And Ricard was telling them that he was also with them, and he saved his life to save Ferion, Maria, and Guy. The three, the three of them, you know, the three heroes. Let's just say that. We all have one thing in common. Yeah, that, that picture right there is actually one of the four pictures on the, on the app store that you see. You actually see that, Min was saying that, like, we all came, or something, I don't know what the hell. We all came, that sounds funny, no, I did not mean it like that. No, but seriously, that picture does appear there, but, but the funny thing is that Joseph and Scott, I believe, are actually not there, or at least Joseph is not. I think Joseph is not in that picture. So, whoever played that game and made it that far to take a screenshot for the App Store, I mean, it's Square Enix themselves, I'm saying, but whoever did that in Square Enix, they forgot to pick up Joseph. They seriously forgot to go get him and save him from Zombie Borgen. Oh well. Whatever. Anyways, we are approaching the, uh, yeah, pretty much near the end of... Wait, is it? Yeah. Kind of near the end. I mean, we still have one more floor, I believe. Or no, is this the end? It might be the end, actually. I kind of forgot. Whatever. But yeah, I mean, okay, I believe there is one more floor, but it's, it's smaller than all the other floors we've seen. So again, the most linear floor, simply go through it like this, and you will be on B6. Yeah, this is the one. This is the easy floor. So on this floor, well, it's linear once again, so it's pretty simple to traverse it. And I'm cutting battles out because you've already seen all this junk, you know, you've already seen all of it, so there's no point in showing this. So once you take this, you get taken to Mackinon, the only city or town, whatever, the only town of the Soul of Rebirth. This is the only place in the game where you can heal by weapons, um, armor, items, whatever. And magic. Wait, is there a magic shop? Hmm, I don't know, because there was already one dude under the waterfall, so I don't know if they put another magic shop. Anyways, this place right here, the pub, it contains Sid. Now, this is optional, but you can talk to him just to get a bit more backstory as to what the hell's going on, but basically you get the... You know, you get the idea. He died too, and 
Near the end of this conversation, Min Wu actually learned something rather important. But I'm not going to be spoiling it. Instead, I'll just read through it. You don't think this is Jade? If this is the entrance to hell, what are innocent little kids doing here? Silence, huh? When I first got here, this place was just how you'd picture hell. Monsters fed on anyone they could catch the... P? P. Okay, was that honestly a typo? I'm pretty sure they did not mean to put that random P in there. Seriously, but... I mean, I could be wrong, I don't know. People have started to show up, yeah. So... Here's what you learn. You you are basically learning, or Minwu is, that this is most likely not hell. It can't be. Because for one, the people that are in here never did anything bad. Instead, it's a path to something else. Something else that could be, well, I don't know how to say it, but... I'll just say it, heaven. Alright, let's just say it. It's heaven. It is heaven. The very peaceful place of afterlife, yeah, whatever. Anyways, here's the armor shop, so you want to stock up on this, not in this one though. The middle dude sucks in inventory. The one on the right has the good stuff. And the one on the left has the... No, not good stuff either. So, you want to talk to the guy on the right side only. He has ice shields, giant's helm, knight's armor, and giant's gloves. You basically want to give it to everybody. Or these things, well, I mean, except the shield, obviously. Only give the shield to... Um, to Scott. Giant's helm... You want to give this to everyone, though, because you want to buy plenty of them. Knight's armor, you want to buy... Well, eventually one for everyone, but what I'm going to be doing is just cutting all of this. Alright, so there we go. Um, That was a cut. You couldn't really see it well, but that was a cut. And I equipped myself with all the armor. The reason why is because it... Like, the reason why I cut it is because it took over two minutes to do that. Just simply too long. And yeah, that's just... That's pretty insane. But... I'll just tell you what to do. Equip a giant helm on everyone, unless you already have Ricardo with a better one, then don't equip him with one. But Ice Shield goes to Scott, and to um, Ricard if he doesn't already have a better one. And then Knight's Armor, give it to everyone, including Minwoo, that's right. Even though it doesn't look like he should have that. Anyways, here's a Wing Sword, which is an upgrade to, um, to Scott. And then there's, what else? Ogre Killer, Axe, no, nothing there. Power Staff. You want to give this to Minwu. Flame Lance, if you wanted to give it to Ricard, there was another cut. Because now I equipped my characters with stuff. Again, don't equip Joseph with anything. Okay, that's the healing, the sanctuary. Don't equip Joseph with any weapons. Let him fight barehanded because he's much better at that. And over here you will be finding a portal. This portal here is the key to taking you to a place that contains Ultima Weapon. Which is one of the two super bosses of the post-game update. Well, I don't know if you want to call him a super boss, but... But the point is that he's very strong. He has, I believe, 15,000 HP, so you want, to, you want to be very careful. And here is the inn. So in the inn, it's pretty obvious what you can do. Obviously sleep. I mean, come on. But yeah, so what I'm going to be doing first is actually going to Ultima Weapon. If you take the portal on the top, the north of the village, that takes you to the Unknown Palace, which leads to the final boss of the Solar Rebirth after you go through like eight floors of enemies that are pure hell. But if you go to the other one, the bottom right corner, which I screwed up right there, it's not that one, it's down here, bottom right. If you go to this one, you actually get warped to a place, well actually it's the Mesidian Tower, the top of the Mesidian Tower, but like in the dead form too. That's what's kind of weird about the Soul Rebirth. You don't know if you're actually like in there or if you're, I mean, they're dead, but... I don't know, it's weird. So maybe it was like, this place, no, it can't be. The Chamber of the Seal, which is the top of the Mesidian Tower. So here's Manu looking at that thing, just as I thought the seal. You mean Ultima exists here too? The seal I gave my life to break, but this time I will not fall. Everyone, stand back. Yep. Deja vu? Deja vu much? I'm pretty sure it's deja vu. Just don't, don't die. Or else it will literally be the exact same thing. And there we go. 
He breaks the seal, but will he die? Looks like he didn't. Looks like he didn't die. That is cool. Damn. And oh my god, he did. He did die. Oh my god, it is the exact same thing. Seriously? Oh my god. I'm alright. Oh, thank god. He's okay. You have to... Oh my god. That, that's actually really funny, though. It's like they wanted to troll you. Freaking Square Enix wanted to troll you right there. I mean, by that point, it's not like you feel sorry for me. Instead, you have to laugh at him if he would die when he's already dead. Seriously. Anyways, the middle orb there takes you to the boss. Ultimate weapon. But the bottom left, top left, top right, and bottom right all take you to... These crystal, crystal whatever, orbs, whatever you want to call them. Crystal orbs, yeah, let's do that. Let's say that. And these crystal orbs actually give you a boost in stats. So, it is very important to take these first. I believe if you kill Ultima Weapon first, and take the Ultima Tome, you will actually not be able to obtain these stats. So, I mean, I could be wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure. Even so, it's still better to use these before the battle, to, just so you're buffed up more against Ultima Weapon. You know, I'm just saying. So here is the battle. So yeah, he says defeat me and you have to fight a, a person and this is Ultima Weapon. He looks like a behemoth, yes he does, but he is not one. I... I'm serious. This guy's hard. If you don't have the Blood Sword. If you don't have the Blood Sword, if you never give it to Ricard, you do not want to fight Ultima Weapon this early. Instead you want to go back to the cave and train some more. But if you do have it, you'll notice that Ricard basically does over 2,000 damage per hit. Which essentially means that he can eventually kill him in just a few turns. Just because he has crazy OP. On top of that, he can actually survive his attacks because he's well armored and he has good HP. And if he does take a hit, a hit he can just heal it back because he's doing more damage than his max HP. So, it doesn't matter if he gets hit a ton of health as long as he doesn't take 1792. But if he takes 1791 health, he's good because he'll heal it all back once he attacks. So it's fine. So there we revive Minwu. I mean, the basic idea is to revive your other characters and protect them or something just to try and make Ricard not take as much damage because you never know when he could take more than 1700 damage, 1792, and then he'll die in one shot. So it's better to just, you know, make him attack the other people, you know, Minwoo, Scott, and Joseph. Yep, so in here I... what the hell do I do, a Phoenix Down or nothing? I don't know. Yeah, Phoenix Down once again. But the battle is pretty much close to being over. It really is. Joseph is down, so now it's just Scott and Ricard. Minwoo revives, and Ricard is able to attack him. Yeah, he's pretty much dead. He's close to dead. I think like one more hit or maybe two at the most will be enough. But again, this battle is really difficult if you actually don't have the Blood Sword. That is why I strongly recommend to use the Blood Sword on Ricard. Like, equip it to him when you're playing the actual adventure, that way he has it here. Because if you don't, um, the normal game will become easier. You can use the Blood Sword on the final boss. But, again, if you have the right strategy for the final boss, it's better like that, you know? Because in here, the final boss has 25,000 HP, and your characters start out being weak. So if you don't have the blood sword, you have to grind so much more. But anyways, that's it for this video. So there I just do a cut, and I come all the way back here. And I end up using some tomes. So, I use the Ultima Tome. On Minwoo, or actually I'm, I was going to, but then I remembered that I have to discard some junk. So I ended up discarding, what was it, Swap maybe? Or Sap? I think it was Sap. Or Fear. Yeah, Fear's pretty garbage. It like never works. I don't know what the hell's up with that skill. But that one's garbage, and then there's, um, there's Sap, which is also bad. So I got rid of that. And then, you know, went back over here. And Ultimatome. Give it to Minwoo. What the hell did I go back for? I don't know. Ultima Tome, give it to Minwoo, there we go. And then I gave the Aura Tome to him as well, so yeah, there we go. Next time, it's going to be the finale of the Soul of Rebirth, but I'm going to be grinding a ton in between, so thank you for watching, goodbye everybody, and until next time.